In this module, we'll talk about OSI, Open Systems Interconnection, Security Architecture. Now, ITU, International Telecommunication Union, X.800 document or standard, specifies the security architecture for OSI. And by the way, this is an old architecture, but it's a good view of what the general principles are for security architecture. And let's, while we're talking about enterprise architecture, let's take a look at what this um, ITU standard says regarding security architecture. So this defines a technique for defining security requirements and characterizes the approaches to satisfy those requirements. It defines three major elements, security attack, mechanism, and service. So what is a security attack? A security attack is an action that compromises the security of information owned by an organization or by a person. It could be passive, which would aim to learn or make use of system information only, not directly attacking the organization, or it could be active, in which there is an attempt to alter, directly alter the system resources and the operations. What is a security service? It is a, a security service is a service that ensures adequate security, enough security of the system or data transfer, including authentication, access control, data confidentiality, data integrity, non-repudiation, and availability. Let's take a look at each of these five individually. So here we have a description of the five major elements or security services. Now these are, or, or six, there's actually six of them. Authentication, assurance that communicating entity is the one claimed. And you have two types of authentication as noted. Access control, prevention of the unauthorized use of a resource. Data confidentiality, protection of data from unauthorized disclosure, keeping information secret. Data integrity, keeping information in its original form. Assurance that data is received, that data received is as was sent by an authorized entity and has not been changed. Non-repudiation, protection against denial by any one of the parties in a communication. So a party could deny that it sent a message. It could deny that it conducted a transaction. Non-repudiation is taking actions so that there is a record or there is some type of a facility so that a, 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 an entity cannot deny that it took, took an action. And then availability, which is making resources accessible and usable. So what is a security mechanism? A security mechanism is a feature designed to detect, prevent, or recover from a security attack. And a security mechanism mainly relies on cryptography as an underlying mechanism. Here is a mapping of services and mechanisms under the OSI security architecture, which is very interesting. So we see on the left side, we have the two types of authentication, access control, confidentiality, traffic flow, data integrity, non-repudiation, and availability. And on the right, or on the top, we have the mechanisms, which are encipherment, digital signatures, access control, and then data integrity, authentication, traffic padding, routing, and then notarization. And for example, data integrity as a mechanism will require three types of services, integrity, non-repudiation, and availability, which is data integrity, and this could be done, for example, by an MD5 hash, for example. Now, here is a model for network security. On the top, we see that there is a trusted third party, which acts as an arbitrator or a distributor, which is independent, and it acts as arbitrator or facilitates the security uh, transaction or security communication. So there is a sender on the left side, and this receives, for example, a part of a secret key, and that secret information is in inserted, and a message may be encrypted, for example, and you have the secure message which travels on the, on the channel, an opponent, opponent may try to attack it, and then the security message is received by the intended recipient. The same type of information, for example, in public key, asymmetric uh, public key cryptography, the same type of secret key information is, again, if a public key was used for encipherment, then for decryption, the private key would be used, uh, for example, and that information is decrypted and the original message is received back. And there's four parts. There's the algorithm for security transformation, which is a security algorithm. 
is a security key generation and distribution is a distributed and shared secret information and a protocol for sharing secret information. This was the basic overview, high level overview of, of the OSI security architecture. And what we can note now is that the security architecture for OSI is dated from 1991. It's good to know that there are mechanisms and there are services and, and that there's a definition of what an attack is. And there's some further detail also, which you can look up on the network, but this is dated from 91. It's fairly old. Still, it's good to know what the OSI architecture tells us. Thank you.